with Katie Fix. Tis the season for merriment, and what better way to really be merry than with a glass of mulled wine. So we're going to start off with the hero of the show. That is a nice, hearty Italian red. Robust, romantic. That's what we want. So we're going to go for one full bottle into a pan. Don't put the heat on just yet. So one bottle is enough for four people for a nice glass and a little bit extra. So, you know, do take care this Christmas season. Let's not go too wild. We're then going to take two oranges. Now, one of these oranges, we're going to take the skin. You can either zest this with a fine zester or grater, or what I'm gonna do is take a nice peeler and just apply a little bit of pressure and take off that rind. Now, this is where all of your citrus fragrance is. So when you, oh, did you get that? When you squeeze it, you'll see that all of that beautiful aroma and the oils of the orange are all kept in the skin. And that's where you get that really beautiful smell. It's lovely, it's like a perfume. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so we're gonna take the zest of one orange there. And then we're gonna pop these into the pan with our wine. As they go in, do give them a little squeeze. Oh! Oh, sorry, it's just so great. You can watch the oils actually come out onto the uh, onto the mulled wine there, which just looks amazing. And waste not, want not. So this orange is now gonna get sliced up and we're gonna squeeze the juice into there as well. Mm. And then with your other orange, we are going to slice this into segments. So I'm gonna go across and then slice it into, into sixths, so each half into a third, like so. Maybe. And then we are going to stud each segment with a clove, just one single clove. And these, oh God, if you just, that. This is when we really do need smell vision because it's just Christmas. And they are so strong and pungent and powerful that you do only need a few of them. So we're gonna go six for this full bottle. So I'm gonna stud each segment with one clove and then that's gonna go into our pan too. Then we're going to take half a lemon and we're gonna slice that down the middle. Then this one, we're going to take the zest off the outside, just in the same way that we did with the orange as well, and drop that straight in. And finish it up with a good squeeze too. Perfect. Then I'm also going to finish it with a beautiful cinnamon stick. Oh yeah. Now that, that's got loads of flavour. Just one is all you're going to need. Pop that straight into the pan as well. And then we're going to flick the heat on. Now, you do not want this to boil. No boiling of the wine. No, 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 no. We just want it to warm up. Put it on a low heat just to mull those flavours together. It's going to release those oils even more from your citrus fruit. It's going to allow those cloves and cinnamon, the thyme and the warmth to really infuse into your mulled wine. And then we're ready to drink and sing carols and eat mince pie slices, which you can find a recipe for just up here. So this has been on a gentle simmer for about five minutes now. This is a very, very light bubbles come to the surface. And I'm just gonna do a taste check. Oh. Oh. To sweeten it up, we are going to add in some sugar. So I've got here 100 grams of caster sugar and you can go more, you can go less. It's up to you. This is all down to flavor and personal taste now. I'm going to pour that in, okay, and then give that a really good stir. You're going to make sure it's all nicely dissolved, so we'll give it a few more minutes, although I'll just have a quick taste check. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Let's give ourselves a glass, people. So I'm just going to take a nice wine glass, any glass, mug, tumbler, whatever you fancy, the biggest ladle in existence, <laughs> we're going to scoop out a nice glug of that mulled wine. Oh, look at it steaming up the glass. Oh, yeah. So 
So here we have a beautiful steaming glass of mulled wine, ready for you to feel even more Christmassy than you already do probably, if you're anything like me. Uh, and the best thing is, is that this pan can sit on there, turn off the heat or turn it back on very, very low when you fancy another glass. And all it's gonna do is infuse even more with all those beautiful citrus tones, all of the cloves and the cinnamon. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. Let's try it. Oh, oh I love it. Oh, I actually love it. That is, that to me is probably my favourite of the festive season staples. In fact, let me know what yours is. Is it mince pies? Is it turkey? Is it even your random bread sauce on the side? What makes Christmas for you in terms of food and drink? For me it's this and I'd love you to try it. If you do and you like it, why not give me a thumbs up? And guys, if you want to see any more recipes from me, don't forget to subscribe and I'll be here every single Tuesday. Until then, I'll see you next week. Bye! Oh, that is, that is cracking. I literally, that is the best mulled wine I've ever made.